The Portfolio Committee on Basic Education is this weekend hosting public hearings on the Basic Education Laws Amendment Bill in the Eastern Cape. Public hearings are in line with Chapter 59.1 of the Constitution, which compels the National Assembly to facilitate public involvement in the legislative process. For more on this, we're joined now by the Education Portfolio Committee Chairperson, Bongiwe Mbingo Kikaba. A very good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. A process that, uh, of course, the uh, MPs raised the importance of, of public participation, highlighting that there needed to be some improvement in encouraging that participation. As you near the end of it, what did you manage to improve to allow people to give their input? Uh, good evening to you, Mpo, and to the viewers at home. As you are saying, we are in the Eastern Cape this weekend. Um, I must say up front that uh, we have touched base with all provinces um, to facilitate this public hearing um, for the Department of Basic Education. We couldn't, though, go to all the districts in provinces. We have taken a decision of going to three districts in each province, which, in our view, we think we have done. Um, we have tried to get everybody on board. Um, we are we are now finishing um, this process here in the Eastern Cape. Mm. Uh, one um, important aspect that was raised was the parents' voices. That uh, that was an area of concern that the parents' voices were not heard. How much of that have you managed to gather as you come to the last leg of of the input? Um. I must be honest that uh, most of our public hearings were attended by the stakeholders um, in the education sector. And uh, in all our public hearings, we had um, school governing bodies, which we take our parents because they are representing parents in the schools where they are. So we, we do get parents in a sense that um, stakeholders the people that are there are parents in their own right. Um, they are coming from homes. They've got their own children. So they are speaking uh, in the interest of, uh, of, their, of, their, of their children. For instance, part of the hearings that we have done in other provinces, we had um, the homeschooling um, associations. You know, they are parents in their own right, in their homes. They are um, there teaching their own um, kids. So I wouldn't say that uh, parents do not have, uh, did not have a, a say in the process. Uh, SGPs are there, homeschooling associations are there. They are parents in their own right. Um, what would you say were some of the challenges that, that you encountered? Uh, because there were, was talk around um, short-staffed uh, public education office. We had a challenge uh, in Bumalanga province and um, where we did not have a public education um, officer that went uh, one to confirm the venue for us. And um, after realizing that we had that challenge, we, we immediately um, canceled that public hearing. We, we had our in-house, we tried to solve the, that problem and we went back so we we then ha we then did um, the last leg of of that uh, public hearing in Bumalang. So it was the only um, challenge that we encountered um, where we did not have um, a public edu education um, officer that went to uh, prepare for us to go to Bumalang. But we decided to cancel it, and then we 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 went back. We apologized um, to the province. To the to the stakeholders, of course, that are interested in the uh, in the bill, and uh, we we had a successful one. Then when we returned, how vital was this process? Um, it is vital in a sense that look, we are changing, um, or rather, we are amending um, laws. Yeah, like you understanding, like you are understanding, we are 
we are doing it or facilitating it rather on, on for the Department of Basic Education. So it is vital in the sense that um, there needs to be change. And um, you would know with the change there would be mixed feelings. There would be people who are comfortable with what is happening. But of course there would be people who would understand that um, there is a need uh, for, for, for change. So in my view, at a personal level, um, we had very successful uh, public hearings. Um, it shows that people have, are interested in the education of their children, one. But also it says that um, you, we, we are a diverse country, you know. We, we've had um, quite some mixed feelings on the changes because the change is not what um, everyone appreciates. So it's vital in a sense that um, the department is, is intending to move to a particular direction um, um, with regards to the sector in general, but also to the future of this country because whatever direction that the, the department would be taking, it would be speaking to each and every child uh, that is falling under the, 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 the public schools um, in this country. You speak about people's views, mixed feelings, discomforts. As the public hearings draw to a close, uh, some of the main areas of concern were the proposed provision giving provincial heads of education departments the power to make a final decision on school languages, for instance, and admissions policies. And, and also uh, another matter that really stood out was the watering down on the role of the SGB, the school governing body. Yes, those are part of the clauses um, that we are dealing with, and um, those are the mixed feelings that I'm talking about. Um, you know, um, the amendment is proposing that um, some of the powers, not really some of the powers of the SGP, but the SGP will still take um, decisions. But then some of the things would have to be approved by the head of departments. Uh, to an extent by the minister, especially the issue of language policy. You would know that there are still schools uh, in our country which are, um, are using their, um, their home language. And um, in schools um, like those, you would get, for instance, there are problems of admissions uh, in a sense that um, admissions are done for only learners of a particular color. So that's, that's where the intervention of the head of department then is needed because many people are moving now to, to towns and a child would not be admitted to a school even if it is within five kilometers radius as per the police of that school because is a child of a particular color or rather of, or maybe is a child that speaks um, other language, which is not the language that is used um, in in that school. Yeah, unfortunately, so those are the are the. Yeah, I, I, so I, those I'm are sorry to interrupt okay. you there. Unfortunately, we're going yeah. to have to leave it there for the sake of time. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Basic Education, Bungiwe Mbingo. Uh, Mbingo.